So now you're in Australia and my understanding is that you wanted to be able to share your faith, although you were quite scared of speaking publicly. So how did you first start to learn to share your faith? And was that a little bit fear focused? I was completely petrified, even imagining trying to talk to somebody or sharing, sharing about Jesus. And you know, year, years went by. After a few years, I was just sharing my fear with this man, you know, from Slumberjay, you know, Zach. I, I just told him, I don't know. I really want to share about Jesus, but I'm so scared. He said, "Come to my church, and we we're, we're having a workshop, um, eight weeks, whatever." Um, I said, "Yeah, absolutely, I will come." And I did the workshop with them, and. Uh, Still, I was completely in fear. I, I just couldn't open my mouth and my throat would dry up, you know. And But they said, come with us and we'll just do some door knocking. And we went through a couple of suburbs, you know, door knocked pretty much every house is there and tried to share. But the way they were sharing the gospel was more like a selling fire insurance, you know. So that's how I started. Okay, well, that is so interesting that you can even articulate that and say that you felt like it was selling fire insurance. Tell me a little bit about that, because I think sometimes as Christians, we can actually feel like we need to talk about Jesus that way, but we actually on the inside feel that it's wrong. (laughs) So tell me a little bit more, like what were you saying to people? Well, you know, because I was so scared, you know, they, they gave me a script to just kind of summarize, you know, this is the gospel and, you know, we kind of, you know, sell pretty much, you know, in, I'm summarizing as a fire insurance, we sell them. And that didn't fit with the goodness I experienced at the tent meeting. And God was not, you know, Jesus was not expecting anything back from anyone. And he was just giving away his love, pouring out his love to people who don't even deserve it. And coming from all kinds of background, Muslims, Hindus, everyone is getting healed and, you know, not even making any kind of commitments. And they're just getting healed and experiencing, experiencing this love of Jesus and walking away, falling in love with him. And this this doesn't fit with the way we are selling. We're talking about this angry God, you know, um, going to consume you unless you take this insurance, you know. Uh, that didn't fit very well in my heart. In fact, I was not even convinced when I was sharing that with people. And you know what? Even though I went and shared this like this for over 10 years, um, probably a couple of people would have responded. Even then, I, I, it's only out of their fear they would have responded, you know. 